Hello, my name is Alexandria. I work as a naturalist for the Mercer County Park Commission at the Tuppahackee Nature Center. Today I will read The Paper Dragonfly, written and illustrated by Mary Watson. Kiyoshi, a young boy who is learning to farm from his father, would rather make paper lanterns resembling the dragonflies flying over the rice paddies. Let's find out what happens to him. Kiyoshi held the moon on a long bamboo pole over the village of Shinshu. The villagers cheered as he lit the night sky with his beautiful lantern. Then his father's voice broke through his dream and the room was dark and it was time for the field work to begin. Kiyoshi's mother and sisters were already carefully wrapping and tying a mochi into bundles for lunch. Hurry, Kiyoshi. We must begin planting before the sun is too hot, his father called. By the time Kiyoshi and his father reached the rice paddy, the sun had spread a golden blanket over the chilly, dark earth. His father cinched up his robe and stepped barefoot into the cold mud. He carefully took a seedling from his pouch with his middle and index finger and with his thumb pushed its tiny roots into the soft mud. Some day, he told Kiyoshi, this land will be yours and you will grow the rice to feed your family. But Kiyoshi was listening to the hum of dragonfly wings. He watched as they searched the mud for a place to lay their eggs. Push the roots in with your thumb, his father said firmly reclaiming the boy's attention. Kiyoshi wanted to please his father, but feared he would never make a good farmer. From the time he was a small boy, his only interest was making lanterns. His lanterns were so beautiful that they now hung everywhere in the village. The wind grew strong, blowing the dragonflies off their course and bending the rows of seedlings Kiyoshi had planted. It just takes practice and time, his father said. And in time, the rice paddy shimmered with rows of green seedlings where thousands of dragonfly eggs waited to hatch. One night, Kiyoshi's dreams were filled with the hum dragonflies. In the morning, he awoke before the sun. It's not a work day. Go back to sleep, his mother whispered. But Kiyoshi jumped out of bed and spread out his paper to sketch the pictures from his dreams. Then, with a sharp knife, he split long bamboo branches and skinned off their bark, soaking and bending them into shape. Delicately, he covered the bamboo skeleton with fine, translucent rice paper until it became a beautiful dragonfly lantern. When Kiyoshi presented it to his family, his mother said, what a splendid lantern you have made. We must save it to hang on our door during the festival of the new moon. But Kiyoshi's father barely noticed the lantern. Tomorrow, we must return to the field to check our seedlings, he declared. There will be little to celebrate if the rice does not grow. By July, dragonfly nymphs were crawling up the long green stems of rice in the rice paddy. It is a good sign, Kyoshi. It will be a good harvest, his father said. Bending over a stem of rice, Kiyoshi examined a young dragonfly. Where are his wings, father? Well, they are just hidden because they are wet. When the sun dries his wings, he will fly away. Where will he go, Kiyoshi asked high into the mountains to escape the hot summer, his father said, wiping his brow. By September, the field was red with dragonflies and the rice was ready for harvesting. The emperor will be pleased, said Kiyoshi's father as they filled the silos. There will be rice enough for everyone and there will be rice to sell.
The 15th day of the new moon was a day of celebration. Everyone swept a fresh path to their door and lit Kiyoshi's lanterns to thank the gods for the good harvest and to welcome the emperor. That night, the brilliant colored lanterns outshone the moon and stars. Kiyoshi lit his favorite dragonfly lantern and was hanging it on the door when a strong gust of wind pulled it from his hand. Down the road it flew with Kiyoshi's mother and sisters chasing behind. It landed in a pile of straw where it burst into flames. The burning straw blew into a nearby field and the fire quickly spread. The villagers raced to the field with buckets of water until the fire was finally out. Long after the fire was out, dark clouds of smoke billowed up from the smoldering field. Oh, mother, Kiyoshi cried. I never should have made the lantern. Kiyoshi's mother saw her son's great despair, but could not comfort him. Just at that moment, the emperor's soldiers galloped into the smoke-filled village with great speed and excitement. The emperor spotted your fire from on top of the hill, they announced. The emperor arrived shortly in a gold-trimmed carriage lined with silk. He stepped down into the street, coughing and squinting in the smoke. Who made these lanterns? He bellowed, gaping at the countless lanterns that lined the village streets. Kiyoshi stepped forward, trembling with shame. It is I, your holiness, he confessed. It was my lantern that started the fire. The emperor did not respond. He just paraded down the street, followed by his legion of soldiers. The villagers waited in silence until finally he returned from his inspection. Where is your father? The emperor asked Kiyoshi. When Kiyoshi's father stepped forward, he was astonished by the emperor's words. It is only fitting that the palace of the emperor be lit with the finest lanterns in all the land. Therefore, with your permission, I shall appoint your son official lantern maker of the Imperial Palace. And so it was that Kyoshi never became a farmer, but made lanterns that filled the night skies over the Emperor's Palace. But each year, at the time when dragonflies grow their wings and fly away, Kiyoshi returned to his father's house to share in the joy of the coming harvest. Thank you for joining us today for our children's nature story, The Paper Dragonfly. See you next time. For our family share activity, make a paper lantern. Check out the link in the description to find out how to make a paper lantern by watching a YouTube video, or follow the instructions included in the description. The supplies you need are simply two sheets of eight and a half by 11 inch colored paper in two different colors, scissors, pencil, tape, or a stapler. When you're all done, you can put your paper lantern on a table as a tabletop decoration, and even put a battery operated candle underneath it. Have fun.